Hello, Coyote artists. So this week we're talking about the element of texture. And then we're going to see an artist named Harriet Powers. And she's going to be our last artist for Women's History Month for the month of March. All right, guys, so let's get started. The elements of art are line, shape, color, form, space, and texture. So today we're going to talk about texture. In art, there are two types of texture. There's visual texture, texture that you can see, and tactile texture, texture that you can feel. Looking at these objects on the screen, which of these are visual and which of these are tactile? So we can see this little Volkswagen bus, but when we touch it, we only feel a photograph. We can look at this leaf, and if you could touch this leaf, it would probably feel like a real leaf. We see that this girl's shirt is soft, but again, it's just a photograph. These flowers look soft too, and if we actually touched them, they would feel soft. So texture has two types, visual, something you can see, tactile, something you can feel. So let's learn a little bit about Harriet Powers. She was born in 1837 and she died in 1910. She is an American folk artist and a quilt maker. She was actually born into slavery in rural Georgia, but as a free woman, she had to sell her quilts for family income. She didn't know how to read or write, so she told stories through her quilts. Her quilts use the traditional applique technique to record local legends, Bible stories, and astronomical events. So this is probably her most famous quilt called the Bible quilt. It starts with the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Paradise, and then it goes through Adam and Eve out of the garden, and then other stories from the Old Testament, and then stories from the New Testament. This would be the crucifixion. This is Judas and his 30 pieces of silver. And then this is supposed to represent Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So just a telling of different stories from the Bible. This was shown at a, a state fair in Georgia, and a woman named Jenny Smith, who was an art teacher, um, offered to buy uh, Harriet Powers' Bible quilt. Now, at first, Harriet Powers was like, oh, I don't think I could ever sell this quilt. But she needed to make money for her family, so she actually sold uh, quilts to friends and neighbors, and then also people started to collect them as art pieces. There's actually only a few surviving quilts that are on public view. Most are still in private homes. And so to see one is very special. Now, Harriet Powers uses a special technique called applique. That means that you cut different pieces of fabric and you put it together to create an image. So here you can see the flowers are being made by different types of fabric with different prints or patterns on them. And then you sew them or glue them together. So you can kind of do the same technique with patterned paper um, using things from magazines um, or fabric. So for an idea this week, maybe you could try something that has a texture. So think about things that are rough or smooth 
um, think about things that you could make look rough or make look nice and soft or, or fluffy. Or if you have any type of materials at home for fabric, maybe you want to try to do something with fibers. So something with yarn or string, um, something with pipe cleaners because they're nice and fuzzy and have t texture. So uh, one of the other thing that you could try maybe for our older students is something called felting. So you could make actually appliques with pieces of felt if you have those at home. And then felting is something that you can use wool to make pictures with as well. So um, you are welcome to look that up and research felting if you want to try that. Um, and that's just a little bit about texture. And so this would be texture that you could actually feel. So that would be called tactile texture. Yes, that's right, because you could feel how soft the fabric would be. I hope you have um, a wonderful time exploring texture this week. Uh, remember that all sorts of sculptures can have different textures as well. You know, cardboard and different types of things from nature that you could build with can have textures. So I um, hope that you can be imaginative and be a problem solver to figure out how you're going to show different types of textures. Is it going to be visual texture, which you're going to try to create by drawing or painting? Um, or is it going to be tactile texture that you can actually touch? I can't wait to see what you create. Uh, just remember to have fun and be creative, coyotes. Bye-bye.